So video actions are the thing that I think makes ScreenFlow the most essential to my workflow, and I wanna show you how they work now. So I've got this video clip here, it's about 45 seconds, and it's just me adding a few tasks to the app things. And so what I wanna do here is, I just wanna do a quick zoom in, right? So I kinda of at the start here, I move down, and then I add a to-do, and so, I want to go to the spot where I want my animation to end. That's what video actions are, they're animations. And so I wanna say, okay, once I get right about there, that's where I want my zoom in to end. So I select my track, and then I see the video section light up, and I can do things like I can scale it, I can move it around, you can see the x-axis changing, the y-axis changing, they move at the same time. So I can do that. I can rotate it around each individual axis. So I can do all sorts of crazy things <laughs> if I want. I'm gonna leave that exactly the same, change the opacity. I can crop from the sides, the top and bottom. Again, just however much I'd like. I can set a reflection, which you're not gonna see here, but if I resize this a little bit, you'll see a little reflection here at the bottom. If I turn it off and on, you'll definitely see it. Uh, I'm not gonna use that for this. I can also round the corners, so I can change those a little bit if I want it to be a little softer. Again, I'm going full screen, so I'm not gonna do that in this one, but you can do that. I'm gonna drop a shadow, which I should, once again, <laughs> make this smaller. You can see a shadow appear back there. Uh, you can change the angle of it. You can change how offset it is. You can change the opacity of it. Uh, I'm actually just gonna turn this off for this video because it actually makes screen flow run kind of slow. They're pretty intense to draw. And so when you're playing back, it'll make your video a little choppy if you leave those on. Uh, so use them if you want, but just know your playback while you're editing is gonna be choppy. It'll export smooth, but yeah, just a thing to be aware of. Uh, I'm on a six-year-old Mac, so it's gonna be a little tough for that one to run it. And then there's uh, some color controls so I can adjust the saturation up or down, the brightness and the contrast. And so these aren't super useful for screen recordings, but they're very useful for when you're recording yourself on screen, you can make these slight adjustments. And then finally we have video filters. If I hit the plus here, there's all sorts of effects here that I can apply. Uh, I've used all of these a little bit here and there. Uh, the hue adjust just for example, You'll pull up a tool here. I can hue adjust it, let's say 10 degrees, and now it's a little yellower. Uh, 50 degrees, now it's green. Uh, that's not really what we want here. But again, if you're filming live video, uh, those things can come into play and can be more useful. They're more advanced than really what we want to cover here. But just know that a lot of those are available um, in this menu. So what do I want to do? I wanted to zoom in, right? So let's actually go back to the plot. So I selected where I want the animation to end, and I just hit action. And so that's going to save this, and then I can go to the start of it, hit play, and nothing happens. Why? Well, this is just saying, over this time frame, I want an animation to happen, and it's gonna say, I wanna go from where it is before the animation, and switch to where it is after the animation. So all you have to do is move your playhead to where you want it to be. So I'm gonna say after the animation, I want this to be zoomed in, I want it to kind of move there, and there we go. And so now if I go back and hit play, we can zoom in. Cool. Now, the one thing I notice is that I kind of miss the click down there, and I want that to happen at a different rate. So this is currently a two second animation. What I want it to be is a little shorter. So let me just resize it a little bit. Go down here, I see the click, I zoom in. And now you know what, I could even make it faster. Like, let's just go super quick. Boom, looks really nice. I can also adjust the curve type, so ease in and out is what I prefer, but you could do things like linear, and if I do that, it's just gonna be a linear zoom from the first position to the last position. I can do a exponential one where it kind of <laughs> goes super fast and then slows down quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, like I said, ease in and out works most of the time for screencasts, so that's what I tend to use. And so there you go. So then when I wanna go back to 100%, right? Like after this point, maybe I wanna go back to 100%. I'm just gonna stop. Uh, there, maybe this is where I want the animation to end the next time. And so again, I'm gonna do a two second animation and I'm gonna reset these. So 100% scale, position is zero, zero, which is centered. There we go. And so now it does that animation. So all pretty smooth. Now let's do one more animation here to kind of show you a little bit more of what's available. I'm gonna to go to the end because I want at the end this to kind of shrink. So I'll get a little bit to the uh, before the end, we'll do an animation there. I want it to shrink down. I want to round the corners a little bit. 
There we go. And so now at this point, it's going to just get smaller, stay in the center and round the corners a bit. And then I want it to shoot off to the side of the screen. Or actually, no, let's have it fall off, right? So again, I'm gonna do another action after that. I'm gonna do it a little quicker and then put it there. And so on this side, I want to rotate it. I want it to shrink. And then uh, let me do like a 10 degree Y rotation. So it's really gonna fall uh, in this kind of interesting way. Oh, and then I should also move it actually down. <laughs> so let's do negative 4,000 actually. Let's get it way off screen. So now when I play it back, it's gonna zoom out, it's gonna round the corners, and then it's gonna drop off screen, right? And so maybe that was a little quick. Let me slow it way down. So play again, there it is and then you can see it drop. And so that's kind of how I do a lot of animations. That's how tons of things happen on this channel actually, uh, is something very similar to this. So if I kind of do that, let's move it to there. Um, I could even do something like this. Let's rotate it 900, well, no, uh, let's do 1080. There we go. And now we're just gonna spin it a couple times. Why? Who knows, but you can. <laughs> so you can really play around with these animations quite a bit and get quite a bit of value out of them.